Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Pooping 2.0. I'm Sean, your pooping host, and today we need to talk about some poop. Y'all remember last year when I made a video and I was like, I can't stand like talking about poop, especially when girls talk to me about their poop. It grosses me out, yada, yada, yada. That is no longer the case. I have like fully embraced the poop talk because it has to be done. People are afraid to like, you know, share their feelings about their poop, to talk about their pooping, but it needs to be said because it is it's just dead serious. You know what I'm saying? You do not want to have toxic fecal material just hanging out in your body so it can be reabsorbed into the bloodstream and increase the toxic burden on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good idea. I consult with people every single day, and most of the time when I ask them about their poop, they say, you know, I poop every two days, you know, I poop twice a week. That is not a good thing. We need to open up the conversation about the pooping. You know what I mean? I'm calling for dialogue today, and I'm going to start with myself, because I have devised a much improved way to poop, and I'm going to tell you guys all about it. First thing, though, I need to tell you about our modern toilet. Our modern toilet is far from idea. Did you know that our toilet was actually designed and first made by a guy who made watches? And then it was improved upon by a cabinet maker. Two guys who had no idea about physiology. They had no idea about how the bowel worked and whatnot. Let's think about this. How were people pooping before we had the toilet? How do people in like other countries like China and South America, how do they poop? They squat. They squat all the way down. I'm not talking about like a, a, a barbell squat where you get the thighs parallel to the floor. I'm talking about your butt going in between your heels and getting down to the floor. That is the proper way to poop. Your abdominal organs, your bowel is completely supported and whatnot. You're pushing in and everything is supposed to flow out. But when you sit on a modern toilet, you no longer have that support anymore. And this is why people are sitting there grunting, you know what I'm saying, you're holding on to stuff, you're leaning forward, because we are not pooping correctly. This is why we have hemorrhoids. This is why we have bowel cancers and whatnot. If you look at, like, the American Indians, they didn't have hemorrhoids. Why? Because they pooped right. If you look at the traditional African societies, they didn't have bowel cancer. Why? Because they were pooping the right way. We need to get back to pooping the right way. Now, when you're pooping on a modern toilet, there's two places where bowel problems start the most. It's the cecum and then you got the sigmoid. And these are two places within the bowel that aren't supported when you sit on a normal modern toilet. And it's just coincidence that these are the spots where people have the most problems? Absolutely not. We can also get ileocecal valve dysfunction by using a normal toilet. And what that is is that it's like a door. This valve is like a door that separates your small intestine from your colon. And so things are supposed to pass through, but they're not supposed to be able to pass back. But since the ileocecal valve isn't supported when we're pooping on the modern toilet, that valve gets blown out. And when that valve gets blown out, then bad bacteria start to make their way back into the small intestine where they're not supposed to be to be reabsorbed into the bloodstream and increase the toxic load on the body. You definitely don't want that. You're also going to get incomplete elimination. And everybody knows what that that's like when you're sitting on a toilet, you can't get it all out, and you're wiping for 10 days. You know what I'm saying? And so we need to get back to pooping properly. And so I'm going to go into my bathroom right now and show you how Sean gets down, how Sean drops off the Cosby kids. Check it out. All right, check it out, y'all. We're behind the scenes right now in the underground wellness pooper, and I'm gonna show you what pooping 2.0 is all about. So check it out, y'all. First of all, of course, you wanna pull your stuff down, but I can't quite do that on YouTube. And you want to assume the position. Now, this is how everybody else does it. We're not quite in a physiologically friendly position and whatnot. But think about this. When you're having a hard time dropping bombs, what position do you take? You do one of these right here. You're probably getting your grunt on and whatnot, making some noises, but check this out. The poop box has arrived. This is how I do it now. 
is the new version of pooping. Put your feet up on top. Now check it out. I am in a squat position. I've got my butt pretty much in between my feet. And what you want to do, because you don't want to pee all over your, your poop box if you're a guy, is you want to make sure you hold your stuff down. Because if you don't, you might have an accident. And you give it one good push, and you get whoosh. Complete elimination. I'm talking about from tip to tip. If you guys have ever seen a kid come out the end of a water slide, that's exactly what I'm talking about, and there's no splash at all. But the best part about this, very little cleanup. Check this out, y'all. I've had this same roll of toilet paper in my bathroom for at least the last month. It's actually got a little bit of dust on it, if you guys don't, don't mind. So of course, I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna do my thing, right? Everybody looks at their toilet paper. If you say you don't look at your toilet paper, you're lying. When I look at my toilet paper, usually ain't nothing on there because I get a clean break. There's no need for all that wiping and whatnot for 15 minutes, right? And that's how it's done. Nice and clean, nice and easy, physiologically friendly, and that's pooping 2.0 for you. And don't forget to flush. Peace.